Star Wars Rebels Season 3, Episode number 14. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here to next week's episode of Rebels. And by God almighty, am I fucking excited for it, man. Last week, finishing up the uh, Genosis, Geonosis, however you want to pronounce it, Ark. Ah, saying goodbye to Saw for a little bit, I'm assuming. It's, see, again... I love all the character cameos we get inside Rebels. Like, I feel like with this show, and again, obviously, you know, I guess Rebels, prior to Rebels, you know, all I'd watch was the movie, or prior to Clone Wars, all I'd watch was the movies. So now that I've watched all the movies and I've seen Clone Wars in and of itself, I, that's just added so much like lore and uh, character information for me to the Star Wars universe. So seeing a show like this that just brings in all these other characters that i already know about i love it man you know from saw last episode to the ahsoka reveal with fulcrum you know obviously vader being in this palpatine you know getting introduced to some new inquisitors and stuff like that and seeing hondo it's great you know because it gives me not necessarily nostalgic i wouldn't call it that feeling but just an excited feeling to see these characters, man. And I didn't get to get that in Clone Wars necessarily. But the reason for that, obviously, I hadn't known too much about Star Wars or about all these different characters up until that point. I feel like Clone Wars just gave me such a good base for not necessarily lore, but like it gave me a good introduction to a lot of these Star Wars characters, man. So I'm glad I did this for my watch order and I'm glad like this is where I've come to in my Star Wars journey in and of itself. Thinking back on it, as far as like watch order with what I know now, would I change my watch order for the movies or anything like that? Quite frankly, no. I'm glad I watched the movies in release order and I'm glad I watched Clone Wars in chronological order. I feel like it was perfect and I'm glad I'm watching this in release order. I feel like all this timeline wise is fucking great, man. I don't know what to expect this episode. We could get some dark saber shit. We could get some mall shit. We could get some Obi-Wan shit. We could get some random shit. Who the fuck knows with Rebels, man, but I'm here for it. And I'm fucking excited for it. So I'm gonna stop wasting time, guys. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. Before we do, I do ask if you guys are new to the channel, you do hit that subscribe button, comment down below what you guys wanna see next, man. Drop a like on the video for your boy. For reaction, will be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys wanna check that out, link in the description down below. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna hop into this episode. The Empire found them? Cause also, Whoa, what the fuck is this? Cause this is the planet our base is on, no? Proceeding to investigate. Oh shit. I thought he was looking for big bitch for a second <laughs> out here. But he, I mean, it makes sense. He's looking for the rebels. I wonder who tipped him off. I wonder if Maul did. Men capturing hostiles cannot give away position. Spiders helping us out. I fuck with it. This is bad though, because now the rebels know, or the Empire knows where the rebels are. Did they seriously leave you in charge of this entire facility? <laughs> Something. Now, what exactly do you do? <laughs> he said we've never really figured that out. Ah, <laughs> chopper. Counting crates, not exactly my idea of fun. Is that because you never learned to count? <laughs> Bro, AP5 is a savage too. I like him, man. The droids are so sassy. I feel like we haven't had a solo Zeb episode in a minute. Huh. It's some kind of droid. Fuck, man. It's gonna infiltrate their base Not for sure. Of doesn't look imperial. Oh. Of course it doesn't. I suppose since Hera left you in charge. Oh wait, she didn't. Bro, for once, like Chopper's right in this situation. We should trash this bitch, bro. This droid's definitely gonna infiltrate them, and then the Empire's just gonna have information on him. But Agent Callus is the one behind it, huh? There's still no contact by next cycle. We'll follow up. For now, we wait. Mm. I love that Agent Callus is on our side, man. He's Fulcrum. We found this busted up droid in the wasteland. Can you identify it? Looks like an older model of some type of protocol droid. Yep. Translator. <laughs> hey, it worked. Of course. Where do you come from? Is that it reflects with your flat designation. Unknown. It armory and munitions storage area. Proton torpedoes. 62 crates. Ion mines. 32. Bro, he's just recording all this shit to send to the Empire. Astromech C1 series. 
Obsolete mechanism. No longer in production. Damn. He said, Chopper, you outdated bitch. Man, dude, this is bad. He's just gonna get all this information on them, on the rebels. The Empire has begun to deploy recon droids. They are extremely dangerous, but can appear harmless while in protocol mode. Damn, that's it. Be advised, if the droid remains out of contact, the Empire will come after it, and soon, Fulcrum out. Fuck, dude. Bro, so those things transform, essentially, too, into some fucking crazy-ass battle-type fighters. You and I are going to get along famously. We'll have this rebel base in tip-top shape. Rebel. I feel bad for AP, bro. Fight. Rebel. Base. Yeah, he said those words, man. Oh, fuck. This bitch is big. Holy shit. Rebels. Yo, this thing is huge. Oh my god, it moves quick as well. Holy shit. You got crazy ass blasters too, bro. Fuck. Chopper, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know if you can take this droid on, man. Yeah. Zed might be able to take him out, but the other problem is if he doesn't check in either, the Empire is going to send reinforcements, man. May I remind you that we are in an area housing high explosive munitions? Perhaps not the best place to be firing blasters. So I'll just grab it, get it on the ground, and shut it down. Grab it. That's your plan? Grab it? If I do, can you shut it down? Of course I can. Right. Chopper, get to it. Bro, that's the most scuffed plan I've ever heard. I'll just grab it. <laughs> I mean, it's probably gonna work, but fuck. Oh my gosh, man. Yo, Chopper can move though when he switches to one wheel mode. Yeah, bitch. Oh, well, fuck. <laughs> oh God, you better get up, Zeb. AP5, shut the bitch down. Shut the bitch down. Shut the bitch down. Fuck, man. Oh my god, dude. Who's gonna save the day here? Yo, he is really fucking Zeb up, bro. I love that we get to see all these different types of droids, man. Even this far into the Star Wars universe, we're still seeing new droids, you know? Oh my god, dude. This thing's a fucking problem. I got it. Don't got it. Don't got it. <laughs> Fuck. Shut it down. I need its back. <laughs> yeah, he did need to go on its back. Stand by. Stand by. Got it. Bro, AP5 is so calm and relaxed all the time. The droid appears to be counting down. It's gonna explode. Either get the bitch out of here or disable it. How much time have we got left? 20 seconds. Okay, disable it's <sighs> the only option. Freeze it. What did he do? He's temporarily frozen well, the countdown. That works. Circuit. This part will require some manual labor. Your uh. specialty, I believe. <laughs> Your specialty? I want you to wipe its memory. No, its memory core is protected. Any attempt to tamper with it would likely trigger detonation. What if we send it back to the Empire? Still ticking. Can you make an adjustment to the warhead? Let it go back to its base. But it blows before it can upload its data. Maybe even take some more of these droids with it. Yeah. If you get the timing right. Well, yeah, yes, I can. Or at least I can try. Sorry for my delayed response. I was just rather stunned by the fact that you had a good idea. <laughs> Bro, AP5 is a savage, man. I love it. There it is. Y'all better hope this fucker actually explodes, because if not, your guys' base is just fucked, right? The long range transmitter. It's going to contact oh, the Oh shit. That motherfucker said I ain't even gotta go back. Now that it can't contact the Empire, it will return home, right? If it follows its programming. Yeah, but now you gotta hope it actually explodes quickly and on time, you know what I mean? 
What did they set it to? Uh, reactivate the countdown when it gets to the Imperial base? Oh, man. Bro, it's cool seeing Zeb's relationship with characters develop over time. Kind of like how he didn't like Ezra at first, but now and him, they're friends. And same thing with Chopper and same thing with AP. I mean, him and Chopper always bust each other's balls, though. You know what I mean? Is that a countdown? Damn, is that the light cruiser or the Star Destroyer? That's gotta be the light cruiser, right? Report. I believe it was a proton warhead detonation, sir. He knows. He's happy about that, man. He knows they sent it back, that everything worked out for him, dude. See, I love having a, a, a mole, so to speak, you know? The droid did self-destruct on its return to base. You have my congratulations for crowd. What was that about? Ah, uh, long story. Which I can recall every detail. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude. AP5, shut the fuck up. <laughs> oh god. Oh, Thrawn. You seem in surprisingly good spirits considering this loss. The rebels may have protected the location of their base for now. In doing so, they have narrowed my search. Yeah, because now he knows it's got to be in one of the planets that they were on. War will be ours. Bro, this is why I fuck with Thrawn, man. He's so cold and calculated, like... He's not worried about these little fucking small ass little petty battles winning them. You know what I mean? Star Wars Rebels season three, episode 14 is in the books. He's more so worried about bigger picture type thing. He's willing to make small sacrifices um, for the bigger, you know, for, for, for the bigger goal, so to speak, to beat them in the end. You know, he's he's sitting here. He's taking his time to learn about them, see, you know, who they are, who Hera is, what they're willing to do, how far they're willing to go, how they move, how they respond to different situations, you know, where they're located here. He just narrowed his search down to 92 planets, which, yeah, 92 planets is a fuck ton. But I mean, compared to the thousands of systems they could have fucking been in before, that's insane. You know what I mean? And he, 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 he always finds something even in the losses, so to speak, every single time, man. And I love that about him. You know, like they literally showed him for what, 30 seconds here? And I feel like he just stole the entire episode in those 30 seconds, man. The only thing is, I'm worried for Agent Callis. Because I'm pretty sure Thrawn knows it's him. Like, I'm pretty sure he's like 90% sure that it's Agent Callis. And he's just waiting to get that 100% confirmation, you know? And I feel like Thrawn has no problem killing people. So I wouldn't be surprised if he had him executed or some shit, you know? But just because obviously we saw what he did to those uh, workers at the factory that were fucking up the machines. Imagine what he's going to do to Agent Callis, bro. Oh my God. What an episode though. This was more, you know, Zeb focused and stuff like that. And it almost felt like a filler episode at first, all the way up until the end there. You know what I mean? Seeing, seeing Thrawn and seeing that he has essentially narrowed down his search to find these rebels. Now this makes me feel like that the season finale isn't necessarily going to be Obi-Wan focused. It makes me feel like it's more so going to be like an all out war or a siege almost on the rebels base for uh for Thrawn you know because we've seen him trickled throughout this season and gaining little intel and knowledge and stuff but we've never really seen him go all out and attack the rebels yet so I feel like that actually might be what the season finale is and I'm nervous for it man Thrawn is he's smart he's playing chess you know he's not these little just random generic villains like Agent Callus originally was man he's he's smart as fuck he's moving good he's thinking he's I love it, dude. I love when they make the villains good and smart in this shit. Just like in Death Note, you know what I mean? Light, smart as fuck, and it's enjoy. It's it's really, you know, enjoyful. Is that even a word? <laughs> it feels really good watching that type of stuff. Seeing two people go back and forth and seeing, you know, who can beat who strategy wise. I love that shit. And he also has, you know, he's not just like these kind of empire yes boys so to speak you know he has his own personality to him he seems like he's got a lot of respect for like culture and art and learning stuff in different ways he finds a way to learn something and everything even in Hera's like little art and stuff she had with her family her uh Calicori I think it was what it was called Calamari <laughs> not Calamari but Calicori or some shit like that you know and that that that's why I feel like I fuck with him I feel like we haven't seen him much at all but I also feel like he's 
you know, every time he comes on screen, he kind of steals the episode away. Like I said, he was here for 30 seconds or so at the end, and I feel like he stole this episode, man. But regardless, guys, let me know what you thought about it in the comment section down below. Like always, if you guys enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to leave a like if you guys are new to the channel. Hit that subscribe button for reaction to be up on Patreon as well as early access to the next two episodes. If you guys want to check that out, link in the description down below. I hope you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one. What is going on, everybody? I hope you guys all did enjoy that video you just checked out. If you did, make sure to drop a like and comment down below. What is a movie or TV series that you guys would like to see me react to next? I want to give a couple quick shout outs to some of my highest tier supporters over on Patreon, man. Shout out to the homie That's So Gordo, the homie Silas Kane, and the homie Alexander Collins. I appreciate your guys' insane support, man. If you guys want to join the Patreon family, link is on screen right now as well as in the description down below. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next one.